Well, today's the day, man. It's the big fight. Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia almost seems like he's been trolling the world mm -hmm. the last few months. He was beatboxing the last, uh, one of the last interviews they had. Devin Haney slapped Ryan Garcia in the face off. The weigh-ins were extremely contentious. But Ryan Garcia seems to be on some off-the-wall things. He even tweeted this week, John Jones versus me, both coked out, who wins? And so it's almost as if we're watching him go through some of the things fighters and football players go through later in life. Now, that begs the question to me, how does that guy win a fight against the consummate professional in Devin Haney in boxing? When you look at his behavior and what it means for the fight, what do you see? Love Devin Haney, been on the show. Yep. Cool dude. Have you ever seen that guy on the corner dancing with no headphones in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to fight him? No, I don't. He got his own music, but he ain't got no headphones in RC. <laughs> <laughs> he got no headphones hey, who's in. Who's singing to you? Who, what song are you listening to, brother? <laughs> Bro, right. uh, Ryan Garcia is he he did snap out. I don't know, and you brought up like the Could be trolling. The trolling, and I do think that. I do think he's trying to you got to have the villain and the hero. Villain and the hero. Yeah. I think he's trying to make a villain because he's so cute mm. and he's so pretty. And he's, you know what I'm saying, he's been that guy so long, so now he wants to be the villain. But if he's really crazy, I'm taking the crazy guy <laughs> to win the fight. Devin, bro, I love you to death. Watch the crazy dude. Nobody wants to fight the guy under the bridge, Ryan. <laughs> Who wants to fight the guy that's living under the bridge? He's crazy, and Devin is very skilled. I can't yeah. wait to see this fight. For a while, I didn't think the Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney fight would even happen. You know, you're looking at some of Ryan's antics, and it just seems not only out of the blue, it seemed out of control, right? It almost seemed OD, that if a man is continuing to put these things out publicly, why isn't his camp talking to him? Why isn't his family pulling him closer? And so it almost felt to me, well, maybe he's trolling, right? Maybe posting multiple women in one day on your social media or asking this woman to marry you, asking this woman to have sex. On the other side, being a Christian or dancing and saying, if I get canceled for dancing or going through a picture at the Mets game and then cussing out the Mets as you're walking out, maybe he doesn't believe any of these things. Maybe these things aren't truly him. And he's trying to get Devin Haney in their camp to say he is crazy. And if he's crazy, he can't be focused. But you feel like if he's crazy, he can be focused and he also doesn't care. Yep. But for me, though, this is one of those fights that matters to boxing. Boxing is starting to get to a point where good fighters are fighting good fighters. Shakur is calling out Tank now, saying Tank ain't real. And Tank, like, if I touch you, you know what it is. We got to be in the arena for Bud Crawford and Errol Spence, mm -hmm. right? Canelo is ducking Benavidez, but... He's talking about fighting Crawford this year. He's talking about fighting Charlo. And so this has to be a great fight. Ryan Garcia has to show up. Devin Haney has to show up. And not only show up, they got to fight. They got to show out. They can't bounce around and be scared. If I dislike you, if I truly have a hate for you, let's get out here and throw hands and settle it. Settle it. Yeah. Let's not jab each other. Lock up. Let's lock up yes. and have a fight. And so for me, I'm going with Devin Haney because if Devin Haney doesn't win this fight, if Devin Haney doesn't dominate, if Devin Haney doesn't go out and have a fist fight, I think it tarnishes his legacy. It tarnishes his opportunities for people to want to go and fight him. People think Lomo beat you. People didn't think that Regis was a real fighter. Now you got Ryan Garcia, who is seemingly crazy. If he don't close this one out, Chan, I think it's trouble. I see. We got a fit. I'm riding with the crazy dude. No, I got Devin Haney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding with crazy man. 